you. This is Kellyanna, and this evening I just wanted to share with you um, some of my favorite polishes. I had been watching some videos on here um, where people were talking about their favorite polishes of the month or their favorite polishes for um, the season. So what mine is, is just basically my favorite polishes. Um, they're not for any particular season. They're not like my favorite polishes, you know, for summer. They're not my favorite polishes for August. These are just some favorites that I really, really like and that at certain times I will use more than others. So um, I have quite a few, but hopefully not too many, so I'll just kind of jump right into it. One of the first ones that is a favorite of mine is this color here. It is called Midnight in Moscow, and this is like a beautiful dark chocolate brown. A couple of years back, I was really into anything very dark, dark brown, and this was like a beautiful color, just very chocolatey, dark, um, kind of shimmery. I don't know. I don't think this would be a frost, but it's a very beautiful dark brown color. And that polish, and this one that I'm about to show you, this Russian Navy, is kind of what started it off for me. Because I used to buy polishes, um, I would basically stick with the same brand. I used Lancome Platinum for years, and I would use the bottle up, and then maybe I'd buy another bottle. I think I bought like four or five bottles of that in a row. But I did not wear polish then on a daily basis. I would polish my nails, you know, and leave it on there and then get more. But I did go through the entire bottle. So the first two bottles that I purchased um, at that time was from the, I think, I don't know if the line was Russian line. Um, I got the Midnight in Moscow and this Russian Navy. And this is a beautiful, beautiful dark blue. It looks kind of purpley here, but it's a very beautiful dark blue. And I'm actually halfway through this bottle. And I have had both of these bottles since 2009. And as you can see, they're not thick or anything. I really take good care of my polishes too. I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, another favorite I'd like to show you, and I will call these my toppers. You've heard me mention fairy dust over and over and over. I use it on top of a lot of my designs that I do. I like to put this over everything, and I also have the gold tone color called Golden Enchantment. And here I have Atlantis. I got this because of a nail junkie um, video that I did where I used, I think, my Conad 64 plate, my 4 Audrey. I've only used this during that manicure, and this doesn't show like it does in person. In person, it's like you can just see the glitter through the bottle, like it's a jealous type finish. I mean, it's like you can just see through it, like you can just dip your finger in there. Very beautiful polish, and that's called Atlantis. Um, this is a color that I like. It's an older one by Essie, and it's called Lapis of Luxury. I really like this one when I just wanted to wear a color that was off from a normal color. Um, I didn't really wear anything in particular. Like now, I kind of match my manicures to my uniform or vice versa sometimes. Most of the time, I'll do my nails, and then I will find an outfit or a uniform the next day that will go with it. But I like this one. I wanted an off color. It's like a cross between a blue and a periwinkle and a purple. It's just kind of a, a strange color to me, but I really, really like it a lot. Another color that I liked was the Barefoot in Barcelona. This was a color that I wore when I wanted a tan color or when I wanted to wear like a light blue color or just an off color or a floral pattern and I didn't really have a colored polish. This was a nice polish for me to wear. It was just a nice neutral type tan color and it's Barefoot in Barcelona. And a lot of times I used to say that I didn't like red polish, but I would continue to try to find a red that worked for me. This one I had gotten when I got a batch of polishes off of eBay. This one was called Old Hair and Nails Look Great. And I think the color that I was after in the set was a color called um, Manicurist of Seville. And I ended up loving the Kennerbunkport red and this color. Um, when I got that color, it was... I think six reds that you had to get, and two of the colors repeated themselves, so I gave those away to some friends because I had those already, but I kept the remaining four, and this is a very beautiful, nice red color. Um, two more polishes that I really, really like a lot. This is Illamasca. Um, this one is Nomad. I don't think the name is back there. This one is Nomad, and this was a nice, like, 
aqua color. It's like a cross between an aqua and an off green, but I really like the finish on this. And I ended up getting a couple of more Illamasqua polishes. The second Illamasqua polish that I have, this one is Jomina. And this was the one where I did the French manicure with the butterfly. And that was like one of the first designs um, that someone actually thought I went to a salon and got done. A couple of them they thought were stickers, but they thought I went and got that one done. But this is the Illamasqua Jomina, and it's a very pretty purple color. Another lavender color that I really, really love, and I haven't used in a while, but I was using it for a long time there. This is called Do You Lie Like It? Very beautiful, lighter version of, I think, Grape Fit. And then Sally Hansen Pacific Blue. I hear a lot about this color now, but I found mine, I think, the summer before last summer or last summer. Um... And I like this one by itself. I have conatted over this one, but I preferred it by itself. It's such a nice, pretty, vivid blue. It reminds me of a cornflower blue when I was younger. I was just crazy about that color. Very pretty. Another one I like to wear by itself is this one. I'm not sure if this is Club Prive or Club Preve, but this is the L'Oreal color. Very pretty color. Um, it's almost along the lines of a Tiffany type color, but to me not quite exactly, but I really like this very much. Um, another one is this Just In Lime. I love this lime green color. I've worn this a couple of times. Um, the reason there's a red dot on there is that is what I do to my polishes that stain. And even though this polish stained, I did put it on again. Some polishes, no matter if you wear a base coat or not, they tend to leave, you know, the residue of their color. But any polishes that I have or that I ever show up, there's a red dot. That's my marker um, for the polish that is stained. So that way I know I can't wear that polish and then just move to a French manicure type polish or whatever. Um, let's see. I really, really like this Zusa. This is a polish that I had just got, but I've worn it a couple of times since I got it. I like the finish on this. That's another reason that some of these are my favorites. I love the color. I like the finish. Not necessarily the brand. For a while there, I did like a specific brand, but now it depends on what the color is and how it lays down. This lays down kind of like a glitter, so it's a little bit difficult to remove, but not as hard as a glitter. But it's the same way it is in this bottle is how it looks on the nail. I really like that. Another color that I like so much looks like reindeer. This is a beautiful, I mean, I did a video on my lunch break one time at work, and I took that video down. I was showing my fingertips, talking about how I love this polish, straight out of the bottle with no top coat. This is a beautiful polish. This polish looks like you laid down a nice gold polish and put some glitter effect something on top. And this is just two coats straight out of the bottle. This is gorgeous. I've been saving this for Christmas time. And again, it's called Looks Like Reindeer. It's the Sephora OPI. I really, really love that. Um, Rich and Famous is one that I like a lot. You heard me mention this um, from Anna's Nail Art Manicure with the shading. Very beautiful hot pink color. Um, mint Candy Apple is one that I like for a mint type color. Very pretty. Now, some that I like during, I think, the cooler weather. This OPI Designer Be Better is one of the first and few OPI polishes I know of that I have in my collection right now that lays down like a foil. And see how that looks in the bottle? That's how it looks on the nail, and it's very pretty to conad with. I do the hound's tooth over this color. Another one that I like, and with this one you can feel a texture. This is Ritavir Rouge by China Glaze. I think this came from their um, Christmas collection a few years back or two years back. Um, very, it came from, I think it was the Vixen collection. That might have even been like last fall or so, but on here you can't really tell. It's a pretty like dark red, but I've noticed with this particular polish, when you rub the nail, you can feel the grit, like not bad. It's just you can feel the texture there. Another very pretty color, I think, I think this is bougie. I just love that this was like a dusty type purple. It's not really a brown, but it's very gorgeous. It's like a deep, rich, dark thistle type purple. Um, and the last four that I have, this is a mini. I actually got a big bottle of the Katy Perry Glitter Polish. The only thing is glitter is hard to remove, but this polish is very beautiful and sparkly. 
very pretty. I did get a big bottle of that. Um, another one that I like that you heard me talk about is the OPI Planks a lot. I did get a big bottle of this one also. It's a very pretty lavender. I like to wear this one by itself. Um, this one is from the Muppets collection. This one's called Waka Waka. I almost got a big bottle of this. This is a very beautiful color, I think, in the fall. I really, really like this a lot. When I got it, I put it on, and I said I was going to save it for this fall. It's a very nice, the very, very pretty color. And the color here is exactly what's on the nail. And my last favorite polish, this one is called In the Spotlight Pink. Um, it's a sheer color. I like to use this for French manicures. I also, oh, I'm sorry, this one is not In the Spotlight Pink. This one is So Many Clowns, So Little Time. I use this one and the In the Spotlight Pink. Um, this one, even though it looks milky in the bottle, I put it on my nail, um, and then I do like my French tip or whatever I'm going to do. And sometimes I put this over the color after doing the French tip, and it dries clear. In the Spotlight Pink was the bigger bottle that I showed at one point, but I couldn't find it tonight. And this is very good for French manicures. I wanted to get a bigger bottle, and I couldn't find it. So again, this was from the Lacerte Collection, and it's so many clowns, so little time. And that was it. That concludes my favorite polishes, um, just basically for the color or the finish or the texture of them. So hopefully this was helpful to somebody, or maybe most of these polishes, they're all still available at some point if anyone is interested in them. But that is it from me. So everyone have a nice evening, and thank you for watching.